I'm around too, family. Uncle Johnson. the time if you can hear to heed the call to make your choice for once and all now is the time now and for all eternity to see the sacred reality there's a choice to be made for all eternity. My truth and righteousness for you and me. Mat is the way. Mat is the spirit. Mat is the way to make the brighter day. If we'll just live it, live it, there's a choice to be made for all eternity. Mat, truth, and righteousness for you and me. Mat is justice, righteousness, and truth. Mat is the spirit of Amen Ra for me and you. The time has come, but we must make the change for truth. Our lives rearranged. Mat is the way. Mat is the spirit. Mod is the way to make the brighter day. If we'll just live it, live it, there's a choice to be made for all eternity. Mod, truth, and righteousness for you and me. There's a choice to be made. For all eternity, my truth and righteousness for you and me. My truth and righteousness. My truth and righteousness. My truth and righteousness for you and me. Truth and righteousness, Mat, truth and righteousness, Mat, truth and righteousness for you and me. There's a choice to be made for all eternity, Mat, truth and righteousness for you and me. Mat, truth and righteousness for you and me. Greetings, greetings to one and all. Greetings to all of those who have come today to be with us at Wose Community Church of the Sacred African Way. Um, thank you, Sister Rashonda, for that wonderful meditation. And thank you, Baba Jeff, for playing that beautiful song of Minister Makalisi's. And Minister Makalisi, you just keep putting them out for us. Thank you so much. So, and I just want to read real quick the book of Keti in the Husia, number four, where it says, Speak truth in your house, that the princes of the earth may respect you. Righteousness is fitting for a ruler. 
for it is the front of the house that inspires respect in the back. Do that which is right, that you may live long upon the earth. Comfort the weeper and oppress not the widow. Drive no one away from the property of his or her father. Defraud not the nobles of their property. Beware of punishing unjustly. Do not kill, for it will not profit you. We are Wose Wose Community Church of the Sacred African Way. We welcome you. The way is ma'at, truth, justice, and righteousness. We believe the teachings of our elders and ancestors that the creator God created the universe in all life and has placed in each of us a part of the divine spirit. God living in us and through us has given us the right and the power to establish peace and justice in all human life and true harmony with all of creation. We believe in the living faith of our ancestors. Our way is not merely ritual or belief. Our way is a way of life. Ashe. So now we want to um, do our announcements. So um, Minister Motep, if you have any announcements or if anybody in the community has announcements, this is the time. All right, announcements for Sunday, June 9th. 2024. I had the privilege and honor of attending the Ile Omade graduation this past Friday, and these are just some clips from it. So it was a great uh, um, uh, ceremony, and and here is uh, uh, you know I've dubbed him the headmaster at uh, Ile Omade. Uh, you know he was working everything, and uh, there he is uh, at work taking pictures. This Baba Jahi, and uh, this is the uh, fifth grade class that uh, was graduating in that day, and that's um, Baba Ajamu there, their, their uh, teacher. And I, I managed to catch some of these folks. Uh, these, these are parents and teachers uh, and, and helpers that, that, are, that are working to, to help make Ile Omade great. Of course, not everybody's pictured in this, but I just, I, I thought this was a nice little uh, little picture there. We're inviting you to join us in intercessionary prayer for our we'll say family, Mondays and Fridays, 5.30 to 6 a.m. Pacific time. So that would be tomorrow. And we're putting the, um, the flyer in the chat so that you may uh, join us uh, because there's a particular meeting ID or a phone number that you need to access uh, our prayer uh, sessions. Also, um, this Wednesday, Black Knowledge Matters, and our topic will be Project 2025. So we hope that you can join us uh, Black Knowledge Matters, Wednesday at 5, uh, 5 to 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. And immediately after, the women of Wose will be meeting, we'll, they'll have their, their monthly meeting at 6.30 uh, p.m. Pacific time. Standard time right after Black Knowledge Matters, Women of Wose. And Baby Kashmir has arrived. She arrived May 26 at 12.50 a.m. And, and uh, Mama Rashanda led our meditation this morning. And so she's back at her post leading us in kidney breathing and in our meditation, but that's baby cashmere. Um, about a, 
about two weeks ago, we lost uh, Reverend Nuru Sims, and there is a GoFundMe uh, that's put out for him regarding um, some funeral expenses. And, and so uh, for those of you that don't remember Reverend Nuru, because it's been some time, that's him. And, and here he is with um, uh, ministers uh, and ministers in training. Uh, back in the day, there's Minister Lizelle, uh, Mama Harveta, Sister Zarita, and others. Minister Makalisti back there, Baba Greg. Okay. And on June 15th, at the Nut Tree Plaza, Sister Sabrina Hawker will be uh, performing the songstress and her jazz ensemble. More songs from the Harlem Renaissance. Uh, that's uh, June 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Nut Tree in Vacaville. Uh, coming up, June 30th, uh, we'll say Sacramento will... We'll have an in-person service Sunday, uh, June 30th from 10 to 12.30 p.m. at the African Marketplace in the Obama Room. And uh, that's all I have to show. Are there any other announcements? One more. Uh, we are not going to have first Friday until uh, August, so we won't have it in July. Yeah, good morning. Um, Jose. Awesome. Good morning. Yeah. This is Baba Ty. I um, want to echo what, what Minister uh, Imhotep said. The, the graduation ceremony at, at Ileoma Day was amazing. Uh, uh, next Sunday, of course, is Father's Day, and we will be broadcasting live from the sanctuary in Oakland. And we on that Sunday are going to honor the Baba's um, past and present of Ileoma Day. So if you are a Baba of Ileoma Day, Baba Jeff, expect to be uh, called forward and acknowledged and honored for your contributions. Thank you. All right. Any other announcements? Yes, we also have the drumming, uh, me and Baba Quick and dancing. Uh, we've been meeting on Fridays at six o'clock. So come on through if you, you're anyone that's interested in learning drumming, or if you have a youngster that you want to learn drumming. Uh, class was great this Friday, so please join us. Um, we go from about six to eight o'clock, and looking to grow from there. We started during the before the pandemic, and we have brought it back. All right, thank you. And that's it for announcements. Ashe, give thanks. Now we know all the things that are going on and um, we will try to do our best to attend or give energy to the things that we need to be paying attention to. Okay, so next is the affirmations. So we'd like to um, call up Mama Sugar D and Minister Bill for our affirmations. And we'll say community affirmation. We will know God's truth to be free and self-determined. Creator, help us to remember the humanity, glory, and suffering of our ancestors and to honor the struggles of our elders. Let us strive to bring new vision and life to our people. Let there be peace and harmony among us. Let us be loving, sharing, and creative. Let us work, study, and listen so we may learn, teach, and cultivate self-reliance. Grant us power, O oh, One, as we struggle to resurrect our hearts and our homeland. We will raise our children according to the needs of our nation with discipline, patience, devotion, and courage. We will strive to be the living models of the new direction of our people. We are an African people. We are children of God. Ashe. 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 Thank you for reciting our affirmations, Mama Sugar D and Minister Bill. Now we will have a song 
And then after our song, we will have the historical tribute by Minister Emotep. I will not kill, I will not act unjustly, I will not cause pain, I will not waste food, I will not speak in anger, oh my, I will not sow any seeds of regretfulness, no, oh my, I will not lie, oh, I will not lie, oh, I will not, I will not desecrate holy places, I will not act guyfully, I will not lay waste the plow land, I will not defraud temple offerings, I will not commit treason against my ancestors, or utter curses, or be an aggressor, oh my, truth and justice, my, oh my, harmony, harmony, cosmic law, righteousness, and Integrity, order, reciprocity, discernment, balance, wisdom, respect. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art, harmony. Cosmic law, righteousness, integrity, order, reciprocity, discernment, balance, wisdom, respect. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art, harmony. I will not turn from words of right and truth. I will not pollute myself. I will not mistreat the youth. I will not pollute the earth. I will not commit fraud. I will not cause terror. I will not bear false witness. I will not set my mouth in motion against any person. See, I will not be wrathful or angry except for a just cause. I will not abuse my sexuality and I will not prejudge. I will not be any dropper. I will not speak over much. I will not do evil, be arrogant, too excitable or contentious. Oh my eye, truth and justice, my eye. Oh my eye. Harmony. Cosmic law, righteousness, integrity, order, reciprocity, discernment, balance, wisdom, respect. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art, harmony. Cosmic law, righteousness, integrity, order, reciprocity, discernment, balance, wisdom, respect. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art to the justice, my art. Oh, my art, harmony. I will not waste water or put to the dead. I will not copulate with a woman's husband or a man's wife. I will speak no evil. I will not initiate no quarrel. I will not cause the shedding of tears. I will not blaspheme sacred nature, undifferentiated from the almost high. With my aunt's wings, I will learn to fly. My aunt, my mama, my aunt, madam, my aunt, magic. The etymology roots of all the mathematics. Invoke the wisdom of my aunt. Come on, I make it habit. Inhabit by a car, new and goddess of a car. To the end of drilling, do it with integrity. Use these comedic codes to build accountability. Balance your passions and actions so maybe you can see all your truths. Let's all sovereignty and get free. Cosmic law, righteousness, integrity, order, reciprocity, discernment, balance, wisdom, respect. Oh my art to the justice, my art. Oh my art to the justice, my art. Oh my art to the justice, my art. Oh my art, harmony. Cosmic law, righteousness, integrity, order, reciprocity, discernment, balance, wisdom, respect. Oh my art to the justice, my art. Oh my art to the justice, my art. Oh my art to the justice, my art. Oh my art, harmony. I have discipline control of my thoughts and actions. And to purpose, I have perfect devotion. Faith that my elder will teach me the truth. And faith that my conscience is willing to grant the truth to. Oh my art, I'm free from resentment or persecution or wrong. Cultivating ability to completely perceive the complexity of illusion and all my reality. I don't want to be I have the power. I have the power to make life choices. To make life choices. That was awesome. Thank you, Baba Jeff, for making that choice. I always love that song. So now um, our historical tribute by Minister Motep. All right. And that was uh, by special request from Mama Ngina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is, that is her favorite one, too. All right. Um, I want to I wanna talk about um, something called the Black 
American heritage flag. Uh, at no time uh, do we have a worship service. Do we not take time out to uh, talk about the great and magnificent deeds of our ancestors or to talk about something that is a current event? We think it very important to show and demonstrate the hand of God moving throughout the history of the African people because we realize and we recognize that when our people were at their height is when they were closest to God. So we're going to talk about the Black American Black American heritage flag. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, our son Kaba called and asked if we knew anything about the Black American heritage flag. And I had to confess, I didn't know anything about it. Um, let me just stop right here and ask, has anybody else heard of heard heard of that? I'm just I'm just looking on the screen to see if there's any. Okay, people are shaking their heads. Uh, no, I've never heard of it. But Ed, haven't the Ustadi you haven't heard of that? Mark Lisi, my goodness. Okay, so nobody had, had heard of that. I had never heard of that. And of course, I have heard of everything. No, just kidding. All right. So, <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, so Kaba called and said, hey, um, hey, Dad, do you know about this? And I said, no, I didn't. And so I did some research. Of course, you don't have to go to the library now anymore uh, like we used to. So the Black American heritage flag, also known as the African American heritage flag, is an ethnic flag that represents the culture and history of African people. Each color and symbol of the flag has a significant meaning that was developed to instill pride in Black Americans and provide them with a symbol of hope for the future in the midst of their struggle for civil rights. Uh, the flag was created in 1967 by Melvin Charles and Gleason T. Jackson. Uh, the idea to create the flag came about during the civil rights era when Charles realized that every other group of people had a flag at parades except um, African Americans, Black Americans. And he saw how connected they were to their national flags but didn't feel the same connection towards the American flag due to the negative historical and political implications that the American flag held in the minds of black American people. So according to the designers, the elements of the flag included the color black to represent pride and pigmentation and race, red to remind us of the rich Blood black men have shared for freedom, equality, justice, and human dignity throughout the world, and gold to represent intellect, prosperity, and peace. These colors are woven into a composition that juxtaposes the black and red in a set of two stripes, one um, black stripe, the center between two red, superimposed on the red, Black stripe is a golden reef of, leaf, uh, of fig leaves. Uh, the cultivated fig is a native um, of, African Amer uh, of Africa and ranks as one of the most ancient and life-sustaining fruits. Hey, Sebastian, there's another tree for us there. Um, centered within the golden reef is a blended Moorish um, boarding a uh, sword symbol of leadership carried by the great Moorish leaders of the eighth century. Um, some of you may uh, uh, know this already, but uh, from 711 AD to about uh, 1491, the Moors ruled uh, Europe, Spain, Portugal, and Southern France. So that's when they say Moorish leadership, that's what they're referring to. The sword represents the strength and the authority exhibited by a Black culture that made many contributions to the world in mathematics, arts, medicine, physical science, 
heralding the contributions that Black Americans would make in these and other fields. So the inspiration came from Melvin Charles and Gleason Jackson, bouncing ideas off each other and going to the library for extra inspiration for flags, design and symbolism. The flag is said to have received some opposition from some people, but it was eventually accepted and supported by the mayor and was officially hoisted on the flagpole at the city hall. This was in Newark, uh, New Jersey, March 5th, 1967. Uh, here's uh, brother, uh, 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 I think this is brother Charles Jackson. Uh, what is his name? Hold on, get the name right. Melvin Charles. I think this, this is brother Melvin Charles in December. 1967, Charles and Jackson received acknowledgement of the Black American heritage flag from President Lyndon B. Johnson. The letter was signed by the personal secretary to the President of the United States. And uh, so uh, Brother Charles passed away in 2017 at the age of 79. Uh, the resurgence of interest in the flag began in 2020 with the Black Lives Matters movement and with an increase in interest in Black historical figures and symbols. In 2021, Mr. Charles's daughter, Joy Charles K., republished the rallying point in memory of her father and his significant legacy. So here's some more pictures of the flag. So the rallying point is a book um, and it's about 210 pages. The rallying point is the story of the struggle to promote the symbol of pride and heritage and achievement, the Black American and the, uh, uh, the Black American heritage flag. The story tells oft, often painful, sometimes surprising twists and turns encountered by Jackson and Charles as they strove to promote interest in the symbol, heartbreak and Disappointment were ever present with them, but more important was their rallying point, the flag and its meaning. In a real sense, this story is a lesson in perseverance against apparent, apparently insurmountable odds. That perseverance and unshakable commitment to the symbol that brought some poignant, uh, joyous moments to, to Charles long after Gleason's physical death. So the worship service today is livicated to the Black American heritage flag. An interesting note in African-American history. Live up. I'll say, I'll say, thank you, Minister Imhotep for enlightening us. As you, as you took that poll, you see that it's enlightening to all of us because I had never heard of that before so that's very that's very awesome so see here we'll say the things that we learn and the things that we are illuminated to when we just attend service okay <laughs> those things okay so now we're going to do our uh, litany of sacrifice by myself and uh, Baba Stavi is on his way over here <laughs> So, the litany. Back to you. Litany sacrifice. Save us, O Holy One, by your name. Vindicate us by your might. Hear my prayer, divine protector. Listen to the words of my mouth. How can we repay the Holy One for the gifts that have been given to us? We will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the God of our ancestors. We will fulfill our vows to our creator in the presence of all our people. Gladly, we bring our sacrifice to you. We praise your name, O Amin-Ra, for it is good. Emoja, unity. We shall strive to maintain unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Kuji Chagalia, self-determination. 
we shall define, name, create, and speak for ourselves. Ujima, collective work and responsibility. We shall build and maintain our community together. Our brothers and sisters' problems shall be ours to solve together. Ujamaa, cooperative economics. Together, we shall build and maintain our own businesses and together profit from them. Leah, purpose. We shall make our collective wisdom, okay, our sure. collective vocation, the building and developing of our community and the restoration of our people to our traditional greatness. Kuumba, creativity. We shall do as much as we can in any way we can to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than when we inherited it. Imani, right. We will believe with all our hearts and our God, our people. And in the righteousness and victory of our struggle. Ashe. Ashe. So what you see on your screen Ashe. is is ways to give. Um, we'll say Oakland. Um, you can go on that website and be able to find uh, ways to give. They also have the uh, the mail way that you can just send it in the mail. And um, same for we'll say Sacramento through the website and the mailbox number. And now we will uh, pray. Most high, we thank you ever so much for this day and for this time, this moment in, in life, this moment that you have given to us to take the breath of life. We thank you for us being in community together. We thank you for all of those who will give today to will say and to themselves and to the community. And we thank you for those also who give their time, who give of their talents, who give of their minds and their hearts of love to will say. We, um, Thank you ever so much for those who had an idea or had a desire or who had a deep want to be able to give financially to Ose, but they just didn't have the means. We pray for them and the abundance within their lives. We pray for everyone at this moment, at this time. We pray over the, the offerings that are given to Ose. We ask for them to be multiplied most high so that we can further do work, do the work of being able to bring people into community, to be able to create a people and build our community. We thank you ever so much for this time and this space. We just ask your blessings over all of those under the sound of my voice. This is our prayer. Amen and Ashe. 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 So thank you, Baba Stiley, for uh reading our litany and thank you <laughs> to all um and so now we're going to have a song and then after the song we will have our message my heart has not unheard the spirit that dishonors your holy spirit i'm in wrong my heart does not honor the spirit that dishonors your holy spirit i'm in wrong I have not begun the day by demanding more than I was due. I have not robbed nor cheated. I have not slain nor caused anyone to be slain. I have not lied. I have not been blind to injustice. I have not lost faith. I have not uttered curses nor been unchaste. I have not defrauded the offerings. I have not. I have not acted deceitfully, nor violated I another. I have not. I have not committed adultery. I, I have not fouled the waters, not. nor spoiled good land. I have, I have not been talkative. 
I have nor not, set my mouth against anyone. I have not I caused have not, terror, nor raged I without a good cause. Have not, I have not been haughty. I, I have not have polluted not, myself. I have, I have not, not quarreled, nor gossiped. I, I have not been greedy. I have not, I have not associated with evil I people. Have not, I have not done I that which is hateful not, to God. I have not. I have not been insolent with anyone. I have not I judged have hastily. Not, I have not made myself I deaf to right and not, truth. I have not stirred up I strife nor caused not, anyone to grieve. I have not. I have not deserted an infant. I have not denied help I to the destitute. Have not, I have not extinguished a flame I at its hour nor violated not, the time of offerings. I have not I cursed have not, God. I have, not, I have not committed evil, nor disrespected the sacred ancestors. I have not, I have not undermined I the sacred unity not, of my community. I have not. I have not. I am living my life. By, by the power of the spirit of Mott in my heart. The unlimited spirit and power of Mott lives in my heart. I'm controlling my thoughts and actions. I'm choosing right over wrong. I'm doing the things you've commanded. My heart is filled with your love. I have given food to the hungry. I have shared my wealth with the poor. I'm overthrowing injustice, working to know the greatest good. I'm living my life by the power of the Spirit of Mott in my heart. The unlimited spirit and power of might lives in my heart. My heart does not honor the spirit that dishonors your Holy Spirit, I'm in wrong. My heart does not honor the spirit that dishonors your Holy Spirit, I'm in wrong. My heart does not honor the spirit that dishonors your Holy Spirit, I'm in wrong. My heart does not honor the spirit that dishonors your Holy Spirit, I'm in wrong. My heart does not honor the spirit that dishonors your Holy Spirit, I'm in wrong. My heart does not honor the spirit that dishonors your Holy Spirit, I'm in wrong. My heart does not honor the spirit that dishonors your Holy Spirit. Another one out of your arsenal of beautiful songs. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you. I see. Just give me thanks for that movement of that spirit in my life that says, here, put these words in the song. Uh, 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 what, you heard what I said. You felt what I said. Put those words, put this into a song. Okay. <laughs> And there we go. I mean, Raja Teb will say, good to be with the people of the sacred African way. As we endeavor to do all we can in every way we can to make life more beautiful and beneficial for ourselves, for our people, for our children, and laying the foundations for generations beyond our imagination. I mean, Raja Teb. I mean, Raja Teb. 
Well, I was taken by surprise for that song. Excuse me, let me turn this phone off. Because um, I was I was uh, planning to to sing a song, <laughs> and um, maybe I'll do it anyway. It has to do with with what I've been inspired, what I've been encouraged, uh, almost commanded to address um, this day in life, this day in love. It's, it's about Nia. It's about purpose. And it's me, a purpose, meaning, direction, purpose for life. Me, a purpose, meaning, direction, purpose for life. We make our collective vocation, the building and development of our community, and the restoration of our people to our traditional sacred reality. For we as a people were first upon the earth creators and overters of peace, faith, hope, and love. As it was in the first time, it shall be forevermore by the power of me in you and me. Me, a purpose, meaning, direction, purpose for life. We must make our collective vocation, our true liberation, salvation. That spirit, that spirit that calls us to walk this sacred way, that same Holy Spirit made Marcus Garvey say, rise up, my people, rise up. We have to rise up to restore our sacred way. That, that same Holy Sacred Spirit called El Hajj Malik El Shabazz, Malcolm X, to rise up. And he called on us as a people to rise up, to do all we can to restore ourselves by any means necessary, rise up. We heard that rise up call come through Mary McLeod Bethune. And she says, I must rise up. She said, we must rise up. We must do all we can until every one of our boys and girls, every one of our young people grow to know and show the wealth, the value of their lives has been given to them by the Most High. Nia, purpose. There are others, other, other, other heroes and sheroes that have called out to us. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. called upon us to rise Fanny Lou Hamer, rise up as she rose up. Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, rise up, they called out and they showed up. How about Carter G. Woodson? Encouraged us to open the books, to read our history, our heritage, bring that energy, that spirit, that power to life within ourselves in these so-called United States of America. Then we know one sister, Harriet Smith. That used to be her name till she spoke in Los Angeles where Kwanzaa Nguzo Saba was being presented 
and she was requested to come and speak because someone was impressed just by her personality and she came to speak and then she got renamed. One, one record says she was in it renamed by name chosen by Maulana Karenga, even though he says he doesn't remember that, but she was given the name of Makenya Sebeko Kuate. And we grew to know her as the mother of Kwanzaa. Of course, she made her transition some years ago in February of 2017, if I remember rightly. But she heard the call of that spirit and gave so much of her life, her time, her energy to making Kwanzaa in Kuzo Saba important in our hearts and in our minds. We have Sir Early Chisholm, another shiro. Ella Baker, Frederick Douglass, and there are others. There are others who heard that spirit that we all have felt to some extent, to some degree, that we need to feel that spirit that's calling us to rise up and accomplish what we will. Near purpose to make our collective vocation, the building and developing of our community to restore our people to our traditional greatness. I'm going to be reading uh, from, uh, from my little book on Kwanzaa and the Nguzo Saba, as well as from the Husea, uh, of the Book of Knowing the Creation, on page six, uh, passage number two, creation of Ra as Pata. And also in Huxia, Patahotep, page 42, the passage is about diligence. But at any rate, the main focus, what I've been led to put together, has been putting me together, is about Patah, about, <laughs> there we go, Nia, purpose, to make our collective vocation the building and development of our community to restore our people to our traditional greatness. And Nia, Nia is a very important and, and, and serious principle within the Nguzo Saba. The, the word vocation, I, I came to understand and to focus on it, or it was something made me focus on that term vocation, shed some light on its importance. Vocation refers to a job or a task that is particularly worthy and requires great dedication, requires date, great dedication. Let this be our vocation to make our collective vocation, the building and developing of our community to restore our people to their traditional greatness. And we talk about community, we're talking about a, a number, a group, a band of people who have similar, if not identical values. So we need to be about this business. We were called upon this spirit, Nia, this principle of Nia is calling upon us. Be real serious about it. Be real diligent about working on restoring ourselves, our people, to our traditional greatness. So Neil is calling us, African people all over the world, to restore ourselves to the traditional greatness of our ancestors. If we open the books and know any of our history, we know that they were the superior beings on the earth, innovators of human achievement in science, in medicine, in economics, architecture, in spirituality, and more, and more, and more. They made it possible, our ancestors made it possible for humanity to move from barbarism to civilization. I mean, they, they opened the doors and sometimes they, they left our ancestors left home to go to other 
countries, other, other people, other nations, to share with them what they had developed in our motherland. To liberate them from barbarity, to enhance them, invite them, encourage them to move into civility, civilization. And some of them did to some extent, but some of them did not. While they took as much as they could from what our ancestors offered them and showed them and that they understood and took it and, and manipulated it to their own use, they held on to that barbarism, did all they could in every way they could, to, and it continues to go on to disrespect us as a people, disrespect our people every day and every way that they know how. Nia, purpose, is calling us, is calling you, calling me to rise up, to rise up to do all we can, every way we can, to restore ourselves to our traditional greatness. So with the Nguzo Saba being, being recognized as, as one of the most, if not the most pertinent reflection of African culture and spiritual values all over the continent, Nia is calling us to generate, generate some, some serious dedication and diligence in knowing and showing and sharing Umoja and Kujichagalia, Ujima and Ujama, Kuumba and Imani, with, with our people, young and not so young, share the information. Nia is calling us to rise up, to do all we can to restore ourselves to our traditional greatness. And I, I don't just, I, you know, as long as, as, as Kwanzaa and Nguzo Saba has been here, I've just continued to be disappointed and shocked. Well, I'm not quite shocked, just disappointed. In, in so many places, you know, folks my age and younger, young people, teenagers, when you talk to them about Kwanzaa, they say, what's that? What? How many years has it been here for us? calling upon us to rise up and be all we can be, to be inspired to do as much as we can in every way that we can, to, to liberate ourselves, to get some the spirit of uplift within ourselves, to teach the children, to love each other, to, to, to be liberated from, from, the, from, the, liberate, from the, the limitations that uh, this country and so many others in the world would impose upon us. We've got to be diligent to do all we can to make that our vocation to share this, these principles, to share this tradition. What are we talking about? Umoja, unity. Unity, to strive and maintain unity in the family, the community, the nation, and race, to strive for a principled, harmonious togetherness in the family, community, nation, and the world African community. This principle for living grows from the consciousness and the experience of the creator living in and through each of us and all of us. It is the expectation that in our relationships with one another, we will strive to live and give nothing less than the love, the truth, the righteousness, the harmony, and high expectations that the spirit of God within empowers us to do. Now, I'm led to understand when we talk about unity, it, it, the, 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 the foundation for unity is, the, is our understanding, our appreciation that the spirit of the most high lives within us, that the Most High has extended that spirit, its own spirit, its own essence to each of us. 
our ancestors understood that and they did all they could to make sure when the children come into being, they get to get that lesson across to them. Neighbors helping neighbors, village being a, a, a unified place in that consciousness, in that order. We, we have work to do. We have work to do. Instead of mistreating each other out on the street or wherever, and, and knowing that that kind of mistreatment and more is coming from the other folks that don't want us here anyway, uh, you know, we have to know that we we cre created, you know, it's, as the Bible says, we're made in the image and likeness of the creator. Well, that, that, that has perhaps something to do with what, what you look like, but it, more than that, it has to do with how we look at life and what we do with it and how we look at each other and love one another and do all we can in every way we can to protect and embrace one another. Umoja, unity, because each of us are beings made in the image and likeness of the Most High. Kuji Chagulia, Kuji Chagulia. Self-determination. To define, name, create, and speak for ourselves instead of being defined, named, created for, and spoken for by others. Because we know what others are doing nowadays. They don't want to say anything about us. Don't, don't put those books in the school. Get those books out of here. Telling folks that they benefited from slavery. No, 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 no. We, we can't allow ourselves to be limited by that. This principle, Kuji Chagulia seeks to secure our collective commitment to use the intellectual, analytical, and visionary powers of our hearts and minds to, to, to evaluate and define the circumstances of our lives and take responsibility for defining and implementing the means by which we can achieve the greatest good and well-being for our families, and communities here and now and forevermore. Self-determination, it's not an individual thing. It's like, you know, we're in a community and we're together, we are a people. And so we can see things, a skill that I would like to have for whatever benefits I think it would bring to me. Uh, hopefully it can also bring some benefits to this community that I live in, the family that I live in. Well, you know, maybe it'll pay me well, but the, whole, the, the, the main thing is that, that it not be just a selfish thing. It's not an individualistic self-determination. It's a communal self-determination that we need to be working on at all times and in all things. Ujima, well, there it is right there. Ujima, collective work and responsibility to build and maintain our communities together and make our sisters and brothers problems ours to solve them together. This is a commitment and a behavior that grows from the spirit and powers of Umoja and Kuji Chagalia within. It is our willingness to help to the fullest extent of our capabilities, members of our families and our communities to achieve the greatest good and well-being that life can yield. It's not talk, but it's walk. It's action designed to achieve the greatest good that a given life or situation has potential to yield. Ujima, Ujima. Ujima, cooperative economics, to build and maintain our own stores and shops and other businesses and to profit from them together. Some of y'all know that I had cataract surgery, and so sometimes I have to put these these reading glasses on, and other times I can take them off, and and I'm struggling with it. <laughs> uh, we wanted to build our own businesses and to control the economics of our own community and share all of its work and wealth. This word ujima also means family, and it calls on us as family and community to establish and support networks of enterprises whose concepts of profit and success includes 
serving and assisting those uh, uh, patronage, those whose patronage provides for that success. Ujima means using the best know-how and strategies in the universe of economic activity to maximize our buying power, employment and ownership opportunities, and long-term economic well-being at every level on every front. How about Kuumba? Kuumba. You think I'm skipping over Neil? I'm going to get to that. The Kuumba creativity is to do always as much as we can in any way we can in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than when we inherited it. Kuumba in Kiswahili refers supremely to the spirit and power of God doing the work of creation. This understand serves to elevate our thoughts and perceptions regarding the way in which we are to use the skills and talents, the creativity entrusted unto us. They are sacred gifts, sacred gifts, sacred gifts and powers to be used not only for the individual's personal satisfaction, but also for the advancement of the cause of peace, prosperity, and wholeness for our families and communities throughout the earth. Kuumba is the creative power of the most high within us, not merely for entertainment and fun, but for the eternal attainment of making the world a better place. Kuumba is for hope. Kuumba is for justice. Kuumba also is for joy. And then there is Imani. Imani. Faith to believe with all our hearts in our creator, our people, our parents, teachers, and leaders, and in the righteousness and victory of our struggle, Imani is the eternal flame of hope, courage, and determination that is fueled by the presence and the impact of divinity within our being the impact of divinity within our being. It's that something within, that's something within that keeps us trusting that the way of truth and righteousness will ultimately provide for the prosperity and peace of our families and communities in all the earth. Imani, Imani keeps you striving diligently to make your best contribution towards a prosperity and peace. Come what may. Imani is the quality and force of your respect for the potential of divinity within you that keeps the flames of these principles, this way of life, alive and well in you. Let's keep the faith. So Nia, Nia, which is depicted let, let me see. I can see that. Nia. Nia is depicted by this symbol here on the left called a nefer. A nefer. Uh, it's a symbol from Kemet. It's a, de a depiction of uh, a heart and the windpipe connected. And it's calling us to be as serious about these principles as we are about life itself. That's what Nia is calling, up us, calling on us for, to be as serious about Umoja, Kujichalalia, Ujima, Ujama all the principles of Nguzo Saba to be as serious about them as we are about life itself. And the information given to us in the Husea makes it plain that our creator, 
our creator has placed within each of us the elements by which we can make our collective vocation the building and development of our community and the restoration of our people to our traditional greatness. So we look in the book, in the books here, in the book of knowing of the creations and passage number two is on page six. I'm not going to read all of that, but it's uh, the creation of Ra as Pata. It's Pata, a form of Ra, the most great, who has given existence to all the divine powers and to their essence throughout his heart, mind, and tongue. Thus it came to pass that the heart, mind, and tongue that rule all other members through teaching that Pata Ra is within every body as heart and mind, within every mouth as tongue, and all the divine powers of all humankind, of all humankind, the Most High has entrusted these powers unto us. The seeing of our eyes, the hearing of our ears, the breathing of our nostrils are communicated to the heart and mind. And the heart and mind cause all perceptions to come forth. And what the heart and mind think and wish is declared by the tongue. So were all divine powers created and the company of the divine powers complete. I'm skipping over on page seven, the top paragraph there. And thus were made every work in all crafts, the action of the arms and hands, the motion of the legs, the movement of every member of the body according to the command which is, con which is conceived by the heart and mind and brought forth by the tongue and which creates the usefulness and action of everything. The creator has entrusted those powers unto us. And we've got to get serious, uh, diligent about applying them to what Nia calls us to do to raise our community, to restore ourselves to our traditional greatness 24-7, 365, every day of our lives, that power the Most High has entrusted unto us, we've got to bring it to bear on those challenges. You've got to bring it to bear. There's, there's no doubt, there's no doubt, we'll say, there's no doubt that we've made some significant progress over the years with Wose Community House of Amin Ra in Oakland and Sacramento. And I, I just applaud and give thanks and praises for, for so many just highly dedicated, diligent folks who have, have been, some of them are not with us anymore, that they've moved on to other places to do other things. Some of them have transitioned into to ancestorship. But, but we, we, we have, and we continue to have dedicated folks who, who know the Most High has entrusted unto us the power to do what needs to be done to restore ourselves to our traditional greatness. We had our, our awesomely effective Ile Omode school. Although there were some times that I understood in the past where parents didn't were not really happy about uh, Nguzo Saba being, uh, their, their children being exposed to Nguzo Saba, but uh, things have improved, and, and Ile Omade has just continued moving on under the leadership of the various people who've been there in the various leadership positions, and essentially, especially with our current leader, Brother Jahi, along with support from his wife, Mama Sia, uh, and, and the whole staff, uh, Sister Pam, um, Ile Omade. Has, has done and continues to do an awesome job for our students, their families. And then we've had a significant number of Wose members over the years who've made significant contributions to making it our duty, our responsibility, our vocation to build our communities, restore ourselves to our traditional greatness. But there's no doubt that there's more to be done. There is more to be done. More members are needed. More members. Uh, we need more effective uh, commission actions. 
tell me when we have some of our commissions like are we still doing that? Do we still intend to do that? Well, let's make it. Let's make a decision. If those commissions are not uh, effective, well, what commission do we need to establish? What new commission? But we need to be serious about that as seriously as we are concerned about being able to breathe the breath of life. As serious as we are about having an essential flow of the blood flowing through our bodies, the heart the wind pipe facilities of our bodies, of our beings. We need to be serious about these principles. We need to be serious. Uh, we need to have more more effective interactions with, with other churches and other organizations. Uh, somewhere I heard here the week that, that, that somebody is considering and there's going to be some discussion about a weekly Sunday school class in the Wolf say Good for young people, good for not so young people. I don't know how far along that is, but we, there's more work for us to do. There's more work that needs to be done. Well, I have no doubt that some of you have uh, ideas for things that you feel need addressing and you need to let them be known and, and bring them forward at our next community meeting. We got to get over, you know, the 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 the, the COVID interference. We got to get completely over that and get together, as as when meetings are called for. It was, it's, some of us are still resisting, and we got to put it on Zoom. Well, sometimes Zoom is good, but other times, you know, you have personal presence, interaction, be involved in the discussion, to present your ideas, to hear other people's ideas. It's, it's needed, seriously needed. Nia's purpose. There's this, this quotation here from uh, Marian Anderson. If you have a purpose in which you can believe, there's no end to the amount of things you can accomplish. We have to be serious, consistent, diligent, doing all we can, every way we can, to make our lives more beautiful and beneficial, to restore ourselves to that traditional greatness that our ancestors knew ages ago. And you know that passage from the book of Patahotep, page 42, where he talks about, be diligent as long as you live, always doing more than is commanded of you. I, I pause on that, you know, commanded by who? Well, the most high perhaps, but commanded by, your, by our own sense, our own consciousness of what needs to be done. And sometimes we're conscious of the things that need to be done, but we don't we don't we don't step forward and, and and call for action. We don't step forward and endeavor to take action ourselves. We kind of just sit back and well, what is it? Is it gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Nothing's gonna happen. You didn't you didn't respond to the command that your own heart was giving to you, that your own consciousness was bringing forward to you. That's one source of command in my struggle for understanding. So do not misuse your time while following your heart, for it is offensive to the soul to waste one's time. Do not misuse your time while following your heart. Follow that heart to the finish from the start, every day, every hour of every day. You don't lose the daily opportunity to increase that which you have. A diligence produces gains and gains do not endure when diligence is abandoned. So we have work to do, we'll say. We have work to do. We give thanks and praises for the work that has been done over these years, for the progress that has been made, for the positive difference, the positive change that has made in so many people's lives. I, I'm thankful for what it has done and is continuing to do in my life. And I know that there's more to be done. Uh, and, and, and I just hope we all can come together more effectively, more oftenly, more productively uh, in that consciousness, in that spirit, to, to celebrate it, to raise it up, allow it to raise us up near purpose, near direction, purpose for life. Near purpose.
me a purpose for life. Me a purpose, meaning, direction, purpose for life. I see. Ashe, Ashe. Santo Sam. Ashe, Minister Makalipi. Ashe. That was amazing. I'm sitting here. I have a page full of notes in front of me, like, because when you were talking about being serious, consistent, and diligent, like, those things don't stop. We have to keep pushing forward and be serious as the breath that's within our bodies, being serious as life itself. You know, um, some, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Makalisi. Minister Makalisi, I, I heard this is non-family. I heard it said that one a person should be ashamed to die for helping humanity. You heard of that? A shame, a shame to die for helping yeah. humanity? No, one should be ashamed to die before helping humanity. Oh, before. Oh, okay. Yeah, before helping humanity. Yeah, you're diligent. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that yeah. yeah. emphasizes me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> our, definitely, our ancestors have taught us that. You know, within within these, within the Nguzo Saba, you know, it teaches us these things that, you know, leaving our community more beautiful and beneficial than when we inherited it. We are here to help humanity. We are here to bring up the vibration. We are here to um, help others be able to raise themselves up. And, you know, that's one thing that we do in a community. So that is beautiful, Minister Makalisi. Sure. definitely go over these things breaking down and expanding on the Nguzo Saba that you did today so at this point if anyone is not a member of Wall State Community Church and you've heard this message and it has spoken life within you it has given you a spark of wow I, I agree with that like that was really that was really beautiful if it has given you a mindset that may have been um different that may have been um hitting you somehow that means the most high is is giving that spark to you your your um being um communicating your being is communicating with that so if you would want to join we'll say community church this is that time this is the time um, that you can raise your hand. This is the time that you can type it in the chat um, that you would like to join community, uh, we'll say community church. Um, in the book of Kununup, it says, do not delay, deal with the matter at hand. And if you separate, who will join? So our even our ancestors are telling us, do not delay. Like think about these things, but be ready to work. Be ready to put your hand up. Saying, "I'm. I wanna. I wanna use my gifts. I wanna use these skills in service of the community. Not just. Not just things. Just only for myself, but to be able to help humanity. So this is that time when we are able to do these things, and somebody will get in contact with you, um, leaving you a. Uh, information or something like that in the chat to be able to get with you. And most of the people I see here right now are members. So I would like to say, um, try to invite someone. I know it's not easy. I've been, I try to invite my cousins. I'm trying to invite, you know, people and, you know, we just have to keep going on it. You know, we just have to keep asking, you know, we have to keep shining our lights. We have to keep being diligent, being serious and consistent, you know, um, and they will be able to, they will be able to see that light and, and every person of the way will find every other person of the way. So 
that was our time. And you know what? If you are still thinking about it and you're not a member, you can always go to our website and it will give you a way to be able to become a member of Will Say Community Church. This is not the the either do it now or never. You know, you have your time. But we thank you for that. And so now we want to, uh, Baba Jeff is going to give us our Lift Every Voice and Sing. Now unto the ones who was able to lift us up faultless before the throne on high, may they empower us to be one people. One people. With one aim. One aim. One destiny. One destiny. destiny. One love. One love. One heart. One heart. And one God. One God. And let us call upon the name of that one God as our elders and ancestors have done for countless time and for time immemorial. Minister Makalisi, can you give us the uh, the ah for the amen? Ah, ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, Beautiful people on the, on face, the face of this earth. Earth. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Of the planets, too. All Ashe. the people. Ashe. Ashe. Ashe.